What's up everyone and welcome to the club! In today's video, we're creating a realistic sketch illustration of Umbreon from Pokemon. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a circle on the top right side of our page for the head. So we move to a side grip, sketching with the flat side. Start from the very top. It's going to work our way around towards the bottom of that circle. And go all the way around the right side. Now we're going to add some guidelines inside that circle. Starting from the very top, we sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Go over towards the left side, sketch a line going across the center from left to right. Now you want to rotate the head towards the upper left. So we're going to connect these two points with a curve going up and then bending that back down on the right. And then from the top, we'll bend this out towards the left, come down and then in. Now I'm going to block out the front ear. Starting from the center of our circle, sketch a straight line going up and out towards the top. Let's add some thickness to that ear. Starting from the top, curve this in and come down on top of the head. Go back to the top, come down and then back in. Now I'm going to layer the back ear in behind the head. Starting over on the left side, angle this up and back towards the same height. Go to the top, curve this out, and then down. And then from the top, come down and then out on top of the head. Now to leave a gap from this point, step out and draw the top of the eyes. We start over on the left, curve this up and then out. Go over towards the right going up and then out. Now let's close off the bottom of the eye. Starting back on the left, come down and then out towards the side of the head. Go to the right side, come down toward that center line and then pull that back up. Let's round up the left side of the cheek. From the end of this line, curve this out and then bend that in towards the bottom of our circle. Now leave a small gap underneath the head and draw another circle. Going all the way around, and make this a little bit smaller than the head. And then from the top of that circle, we'll sketch a straight line going out towards the left. Let's close off the right side of the neck. Starting underneath the circle, come in and then out towards that bottom circle. Let's go over towards the left side of the head, curve the neck coming down, and then in. Now right where the neck meets that line, angle this back towards the top. And then from here we're going to sketch another circle going up above that line. Come around, and then pull that back in. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the body. Starting out here, go across and then bend that down. Now let's draw the socket for the front and back leg. On the outside, we're sketching an oval, coming down towards the bottom, going up and then back down. Now draw that same size oval on the right side, coming down towards the bottom and then back up. Now draw the outside edge of the hind leg. Starting from the outside of the oval, curve the leg coming down, Bending that out, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the foot. Let's flatten off the bottom of the foot with a straight line. And we'll connect the ends with a curve, going up towards the top of the foot and then back down on the left. Now we're going to move over and draw the outside edge of the front leg. Start from the side of the oval, sketch a line coming down and out towards the same height. Draw that straight line going across, and we'll connect the ends with a curve, going up and then back down, almost like a half circle. Now we're going to tuck the front hind leg in behind the body. Starting out here, start with a straight angle line coming down and out, just a little bit higher than the front leg. A straight line going out towards the edge of the foot. Connect the ends with another curve. 
Now let's draw on the hind leg, starting underneath the body, angle is down towards the front. Draw that straight line going across. I'm just gonna sketch this in behind that front leg. Draw that curve going up towards the top of the foot. Now let's add the tail on the left side of the body. Starting from this line, go out and bend that up. And bend this back out towards the tip of the tail. Now we want to add some thickness to the tail. Starting from the top, come down and then bend that out, round out the end, and then just pull that back in. Now we're going to go back and add some thickness to the legs. Starting from the top of that hind foot, start with a straight line going up, and then right here, curve the leg going in and then up towards the center of the body. Let's go to the top of the front leg, angle this up and out towards the side of that oval. Let's go to the top of the right foot, angle this up and in towards the side of the body. Now that we have the basic shape of our drawing, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. And now that we have our clean drawing, we're going to go back in and add a second level of detail. Let's start by adding those bands across the ears. Starting from the left side, curve this up and then down. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to step up and draw that same curve on both ears. Let's go to the center of the forehead and draw an oval in an angle. Starting from the very top, come down towards the left. Come in between the eyes, and then back up, and it'll lightly trace out the inside. Now I push the pupils towards the top of the eyelid, starting on the left, come down, by drawing a thin oval, and then pull that back up. Let's go to the inside of the right eye and do the same thing, coming down, and then back up. Now we're going to line up with the inside corner of the left eye, step down, draw on the nose with a straight line, connect the ends with a curve. And then we'll move down and draw on the mouth, starting right in the middle, curve this down and then out, go back to the center, go out towards the left. Let's smooth out the top of the body, starting up here, it's going to round this out and then come in towards the side of the neck. Let's add another oval on the hind leg. Starting from the top, just gonna angle this down and back up towards the top. And then we'll lightly trace out the inside. Let's add another oval just up against the edge of the leg. Starting down here, come down, up, and then back down towards the side. And we'll trace out the inside. And we'll add that same band across the tail, starting from the outside, go up and down, step up, and draw that again. Now I'm going to go back and add a little bit more shape to the lower edge of the body. From the inside, we're going to step up, just going to raise the body, going across and then down. Then on the right side, go out, and just bend that up. Let's go back and erase the bottom edge of the body on the outside. Let's go back to the hind leg, just to curve this in and up underneath the body, and we'll extend this line up underneath along the front. Now once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, we go in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the front eye, starting from the inside corner. It's gonna curve around the top, and we'll just refine the shape as we go. I'll just trace out the iris. Adding a small highlight circle on the top left. And we'll darken up the inside.
It's gonna add a shadow across the outside of the eye, going up towards the top. And then darkening up the outside and just fading that in across the inside. I'm gonna use the side edge of my pencil to just soften up that shadow. And I'm gonna move over and add some detail to the left eye. Now from the eyes, we're just going to work our way across the top of the muzzle, towards the nose. And then fill in the nose. Now we'll add a little fur texture across the edge of the mouth. Just with these short lines, working our way out. Now we're just going to add some fur texture across the side of the head. Starting from that line, I'm just going to pull these lines coming down and just bending it across the side of the head and bringing that down towards the chin. We're doing the same thing across the top. Again, just brushing the fur across towards the right. And we'll go back and trace out that oval. Now we're just working our way up towards the tip of the ear. Again, just using this textured technique, just pulling these lines going up towards the tip. And then doing the same thing across the outside. And then we'll repeat that process towards the back ear. And we're also going to add a fur edge across those bands. Starting with the bottom. Just following that curve going across. Now from here we're just going to work our way across the body. Start with the front edge of the neck, just adding that fold, and then going across the back. I'm just working this fur down towards the paws, and we'll just separate out the edge after.
Now once we've detailed out the legs, we're just gonna work our way across the tail. Just using that same technique. Just working with the curve and the flow of the body shape. Going out towards the tip. And just working our way back in. Now we'll go back and just separate out that band with that fur texture. down and tracing out those ovals. I'm just going to close off the edge of the leg, just connecting the outside to the inside with that fur. and then we'll tuck the feet in underneath and we'll separate the paws as we go. Starting by curving the bottom of the foot and rounding up the outside and then we'll separate out the paws with two curves. Now that we added all the fur, we're gonna go back in with the side edge of our pencil and darken up the body, working around those bands and the smaller details. I'm just using these short lines just to sketch in the tones. And we'll come back and add some more detail after. Now we're just going to lightly shade in the feet. Now from here we're just going to darken up the tones by adding some shadows across the bottom right side. So we're going to start with the ears on the right side of the ear and just fading that out as we move towards the left. And this will help give the body some shape and form.
I'm just gonna darken up the hind leg along the top and then just fade that out as it come down. Do the same thing with the back leg. I'm just gonna fill in the entire leg. And now we're gonna go in with the tip of our pencil and start adding that fur texture along the inside across the dark areas of the body. The head. We're just going to start in between the eyes and then just work our way out. Again, just working with the flow of the fur going out from the center. Just adding a little bit of shading in between the paws and the bottom of the ankles.
And now we're going to go back and just enhance the shadows. And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Umbreon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.